Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about differentiation, and we're going to learn about the power constant and sum rule, and we differentiate each function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, f of x is equal to 4x to the fourth minus 5x minus 3, okay? Well, if I'm going to derive this, I'm going to be using the power rule a few times, and the constant rule and the sum rule, okay? So if we're going to find f prime of x here, okay? Power rule states that I bring this 4 down up front, 4 times 4x, and I take the x when I subtract 1 by it, so we'll do 4 minus 1, okay? Then I do the same thing here uh, with minus the 5. There's a 1 up front here, right? So power rule says I bring down that 1, so 1 times 5x to the 1 minus 1 power, and then minus just, well, Derivative of 3, 3 is a constant, derivative of a constant is just 0. Like that. Okay? So now let's go simplify this. So we have f prime of x is equal to 4 times 4, which is 16x to that 4 minus 1, which is 3, third power, minus 1 times 5, which is 5, and then x to the 0 power, and subtracting 0 doesn't do anything. Well, x to the 0 power is just 1, right? And so 5 times 1 is 1. So we have f prime of x is equal to 16x to the third minus 5, and there we have it. Final answer. So let's recap. We're given f of x is equal to 4x to the fourth minus 5x to the first minus 1. So using the power rule for each one, 4 comes out up front. Okay, so we brought the 4 out front. Then we multiply it by that 4, and then it's x to the 4 minus 1 power. We take the exponent subtracted by 1. Then from there, we do the same power rule in a sense for just x, the 1 comes out up front, and we subtract 1 from the exponent, and then the derivative of a constant, the last part here, is just 0. Okay? And then now we simplify, 4 minus 1 was that 3, so we have a third power, and the 4 times 4 is 16, so we have 16x to the third power here, and then 1 times 5 is 5, and uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, so we have 5x to the 0 power. We know x to the 0 power is just 1, okay? So when we wrote our final answer down here, all right, we didn't really care for the minus 0 because minus 0 doesn't change anything, right? Just the same function. So when we have x to 0, it's just a 1 right there. It gives us a 5. And so our final answer is f prime of x is equal to 16x to the third minus 5.